guys so welcome back today i'm going to teach you that dope move you saw in that intro and just a quick note i won't be uploading that often now because i have a project and exams coming up so my project was is the podcast 40 minutes edit so yeah i have to take a long time to edit but once it's done i'll post it on youtube so you guys can enjoy too now this move I believe it's called the draw control. It's the secret and deceptive art of controlling a particular playing card from the middle of the deck. Now this is a freely chosen, um, freely chosen card. You can ask the spectator to cut the cards. See the cut here. See, okay, you cut to here. You can then you then drag off two cards. That means like. Uh, you push one card, it's like this, right? So it means you drag two cards, it means you drag two cards. So mainly this is what's happening like down here below, just to show you an easier picture. So now what you're going to do is, when you turn it up, <coughs> your thumb is going to pull back on the card. It's going to pull back as it turns over. Alright, so pull back as it turns over. One more note, make sure you don't like, protrude this in front or at the back because if you do that right, it looks kind of awkward. So it has, to be, it has to be as equal to the deck itself as much as possible. So it's going to pull back. As you can see, it was the two of hearts but in reality, there's one more card on top here. This is the ten of clubs, this is the three of hearts. So actually showing the second card from the top this pile all right you're gonna show it then as you come down you're gonna pull push it back too so nothing much to learn nothing much here you're gonna put it in the middle here expose it a little and place the cards on top just to show that this was here the whole time you thought this was the tree of hearts but this is the ten of clubs the tree of hearts is already at the top. You can then squeeze it, you can then straighten it. I think you can reveal three of hearts. Now one more time I'm gonna go through it. They can cut to anywhere they want. Wait, sorry. They can cut to anywhere they want. Say this card. Right? This card itself is the tree of space. So if I push it pull it back is the king of spades because it is the second card all right I'll show the second card you're gonna push it back this is gonna cut in half put it in the middle exposing it remember this is very important because it kind of shows like oh you're not up to anything suspicious so you can say it's it's clearly here, but you don't show it, of course, the second time because it's different. You switch that up. It's now on top. Now all that's left to do is put this on top, square it up, and boom, shown. So yeah guys, that's the draw control and I hope you like it and here are uh, here is a variation that I use it, you know. So first off, spectator cuts the cards, shoulders, you do the move, which actually looks like this, in from your point of view, your point of view just points it like this, and then you kind of push it back. Okay, don't do that. Don't hesitate here, it's dangerous. So here, pull it back here, cut the deck, leaving this out, protrude it. You can squeeze it. Now at this point they think that your card is in the middle of the deck. So you can say that the chances of me getting your card is 1 in 52, right? Because there's 52 cards in the deck. Adding two jokers, 54 that is less than half the chance that you can I can get your card so you can tell them to pick any card 
and see whether they think it's their card. Of course, if they won't be able to pick their card because their card is already on the top, so they don't know. You can ask them to pick any card. Say they pick this card, right? The Tree of Clubs. You can say, oh, what's your card? Jack of Clubs. Then you can do this simple one. I don't think that's simple. It's kind of like weird to say. But you can do any color change because mainly it's it's at the back here. So you can just show like this and then boom, push this up. I'm going to actually teach you one right now. You don't need to do that. If you know color changes, of course you can do that. But if you don't know anything, alright, you see this, this from my point of view. So I'm going to grab one and two cards and hold it with the pinky right here. And hold it. Top card is your card, remember? So you can say, alright, I think that this card is your card. So no. Because they say obviously they put it in the middle. So then you're gonna grab the double, pull it here. Now what you're gonna do is something almost anybody can achieve, but you need practice. So you therefore you know that their cut the next is coming up would be their cut. So you can push this, cover your hand. You can show that there's nothing in your hand first. You push this off. Okay, I'm gonna show you the effect first. You say all right. Seven of hearts, nothing in my hand, nothing in the four. Boom. Your card. I'll get to that in a sec. So you're gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna go like this and show the card is the diamonds. This is the jack of diamonds. You cut it right there. You can say, all right. I think in your card jump to the top. Now remember that you have to take two cards here. Two cards from the top mainly because you want this to work. Right? So once you flip it over two cards, right? It means your hand you can show nothing in before. You can push that top card slightly. And then the this part of your hand wait this part you know, the one connecting your fingers to your hand. Yeah, that one. You're gonna use, you're gonna push this off slightly so there's like a little gap. As long as you can see the letter, it's fine. All right, that's a huge tip. You don't need to go like this big. And you can, you know, you know what I mean. Push it off a little. Use this as a friction to you to bring this card behind then make sure to close your fingers because don't open it like this then you can go in front of it and close it because at that point when you do that your card is already here so you can then do some dramatic moves and cover it up <coughs> up to you whatever you want you can do this, which is kind of like the same. So then, I'm going to lift two cards. And then, of course, I want to show this, right? I'm gonna, I am gonna. want to show the participants to check it. Part of the, the people who are watching this show obviously want to check. So instead of coming down like this, right? This lazy move, right? I'm going to... Come over here with the deck closed down, and then from the underside, you can see that fingers two, three, and four are coming in contact with that top card, which is the extra card, right? Top card, so like this, coming in top card, and slide the ace away, and you're left very, very clean. Is that ace? Alright guys, that's it for today. I hope you do enjoy. Bear in mind, I told you before, I won't be that active anymore, but I'll try uploading. So yeah, have a good day. See ya, and thanks for watching. If you do enjoy it, please subscribe, like, and share. It means a lot to me. Thank you.